Hi everyone, I'm Steven and today I'm using tin foil, cardboard, and clay to make the magic lamp from Aladdin. If you're curious, please subscribe, like this video, and let's get to it! To start off, crumple up a few sheets of paper into some paper balls. Tape them into an oval shape using some masking tape. To make it even on both sides, I put a toilet paper roll in the center and built around it, but you definitely don't have to do this. Once you have your general shape, take a sheet of tin foil and wrap it tightly around the paper. Wrap another sheet of foil, this time leaving some extra space at the end to make the spout. Do the same thing with another sheet in order to make the handle. With the body of the lamp done, do the same thing to build out the base. There's no rhyme or reason, you just need to get the general shape of a base. And for the top of the lamp, I made mine just out of some paper, and I'm probably going to need to build this out later, but I'll put it off to the side for now. Okay, so time for clay. I use Sculpey, but you can use any clay that you can bake in the oven. I've never used this type of clay before, so I'm definitely not an expert, so please don't judge my techniques too harshly. But anyway, just knead the clay and start covering the lamp with some sheets of the clay. To do the entire lamp, I use a little bit over half of a box, so about 60-70% to 70 of the one pound box. Cover the base of the lamp with clay too, and then start working on the top. I had to build the top of the lamp out a little bit with some cardboard to make it fit more cleanly. Bake it as the, per the directions on the box and allow everything to cool. When I baked it, the base cracked a little bit, but I'm not too worried and I'll show you why later. Mine was less smooth than I thought, so I got some sandpaper and started sanding it to get rid of all the lumps and bumps. I started off with a 60 grit sandpaper and then moved over to 120 grit sandpaper just to keep everything kind of smooth. And like I said before, I haven't used oven baked clay before, so I recommend looking up videos on how to smooth out your clay before baking it because sanding it took a couple hours and was super dusty. After what seemed like forever, I decided to add on the details with some cereal box cardboard instead of the clay. All I did was trace and cut out a bunch of petals from the cardboard and super glued them onto the base. The reason I used super glue was because I'm going to stick it back in the oven um, and I didn't want the heat of the oven to melt uh, hot glue because I usually use hot glue. Remember the crack? See? All covered up with the petals. For the top, I just drew on where I wanted these petals to go, and then I glued them on in the same way that I did for the base. Try to keep them evenly spaced, but don't stress out if you aren't able to. For the teardrop that sits on top of the lamp, I just cut out a teardrop-shaped piece of clay and put that on both sides, adhering it to the lamp with some super glue. To add a little border, I rolled out a thin rope of clay and glued it to the top and bottom of the line of petals. Once I did that on the base, I added the border the same way to the top part. With all those adjustments done, I baked it again so the border and the little teardrop can uh, bake and be hard. And now it's time to paint! I started by spray painting everything black and then going in lightly with gold. I kept it light so some of the black would poke through, and I think that this gives the gold a little depth. After that, I'm going in with a mix of orange, brown, and dark gold craft paint to paint the areas between the cardboard petals. Then I'm going over the lamp lightly with a mix of yellow and light gold craft paint um, to highlight the lamp and give it more of a cartoony look instead of just a solid gold. All of these colors layered on top of each other will make it look a little bit more like a cartoon and something that would fit into the movie. Anyway, let me go do that and then I'll be back with the finished product. So there you have it, the magic lamp in Aladdin. It was my first time working with oven baked clay and despite it being slightly time consuming to smooth out, I think it turned out pretty decent. Aladdin was my favorite Disney movie when I was younger, so this was a pretty fun project to make. Um, now, if only I had three wishes to use, but since I don't, I guess I'll just ask you guys to like and subscribe this video. But if you had three wishes, what would you wish for? Let me know your wishes in the comments below. Anyway, thanks for watching and see you soon everyone. Bye bye Oh my god, this is going to take me forever to vacuum.